Hello everyone, this is Rahul Magan here as the Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP and today we would be covering a video about convertibles, dividend swaps. We are not covering a plain manila topic which is convertibles. We are here by covering a very good topic which is how we can create a dividend swap on a convertible. And hereby we are taking an example of an American company who is a very big company which is Exxon Mobil. How they can be, how they can not only issue convertible at the same time but also create a dividend swap on that, also create a dividend swap on that convertible. Now convertibles are very easy, all those people, those who are not aware about the convertibles. Convertible is nothing but you are issuing a, a kind of bond, say a thousand dollar bond, in which you are saying that at maturity, rather than getting a cash, you will get an equity share. Of course, how much equity shares you will get, that is already uh, agreed in an indenture. Indenture is nothing but the basic document which is from a regulatory standpoint covering everything. Now in that indenture you already covered that uh, you are going to be covering 6 uh, equity shares. Assuming at the time of uh, issuing uh, the bonds, the value of one equity share was 200. So at the time of an investor, the premium which a person was getting is 6 into 200 which is 1200 minus 1000 which is 200 dollars so premium he was getting. This is at inception. So convertible is a very good thing, but uh, I think the market, uh, the, the, the convertible market has moved further. There is a lot of action which is happening in the convertible market. And in this action, you know, uh, now we have the dividend swaps in convertible market. We have the reverse dividend swaps in the convertible market. We have the conto swaps also in the uh, conto dividend swaps in the convertible market. Now here we are going to take an example of a dividend, uh, sorry, convertible dividend swap, which is CDS. Generally CDS in the financial market stands at trade default swap, but we, we are having an alternate meaning to CDS also, which is convertible dividend swaps. Now here we go. Now we do have a big company, which is Exxon Mobil, which is the largest American oil company. That oil, American oil company is looking for money. So they would be having two options. Either they go for a FPO or they will go for a bond convertibles. Why I am writing FPO? Because Exxon Mobil is, is already listed in US on NASDAQ. And as the oil is moving here, there, they, they, they see the impact on their share price also. Right? So this is equity FPO and the bond convertible. So they have two options. For a minute, assume that they are going for the bond convertible. But this video is not as simple as you are thinking. They are just going for a bond convertible. In this video, we are making sense that they are not going for bond convertible, rather they are applying a brain. In this what exactly they would be doing, they would be dividing their, uh, uh, they would be increasing or increasing or accreting whatever required by our equivalent amount. Example, they need 5 billion dollars, but they are going to raise 10 billion dollars from market. All those people, those who are watching this video must be thinking that if somebody needs 5 million dollars, 5 billion dollars, why he would be, he would go for a 10 billion dollars. There is a reason to it. Because without doing accreting, it is next to impossible to create a uh, dividend accreting swaps, uh, sorry, the convertible dividend swaps. So now how, how it would be, now they would be go for a 10 billion dollar of funding and assuming that funding which they need is for their oil business. Right, there are a lot of lines which you are facing, of course I am going to uh, explain all this line. Assuming they are going, they are taking 10 billion dollars for oil business. Before moving further, let me categorize that 5 billion dollar is for the bond convertible and another 5 billion dollar is for the convertible dividend swap. So 5 plus 5 is 10. I repeat, 5 billion is for bond convertible and 5 billion is for convertible dividend swap. So 5 plus 5 is 10. Total 10, right? Now the investors, if you are talking about Exxon Mobil, we would have a big set of investors which covers high net worth individual, you know, uh, you know, you are uh, foreign portfolio investors, equity investor, PPP desk, private placement uh, program desk, managed future CTA, CTA stands for commodity trading advisors, although in the world we have a commodity but we understand that they are investing a good sum in equity as well, right? They have a primary dealers, they have a US banks, we have iBanking desk also. Now these two which we need to underline, they will play a dual role here. So one side they are investing 5 billion dollar with uh, Exxon Mobil which is their bond convertible is coming. Now what are the, uh, the features of that bond convertible? These are the features, it is of 10 years, 
the hard call period is six years. What is a hard call period? It means that uh, hard call period is means that before six years, Exxon Mobil cannot buy back the bonds. Now, what do you mean by call? Call option. Call option means that actually they are embedded options. What do you mean by call option? Call option meant that if the interest rate would significant significantly rise. Example, they are offering an interest rate, which I have not yet mentioned, my apologies. Assuming they are offering interest rate of 3.5%. And what do happen that uh, after 6 years, because before 6 years they cannot call back. But after 6 years, the interest rate has fallen to 1%. Could be 1.5%, could be less than 1.5%. In that sense, what it would happen that ExxonMobil immediately go, go with the buyback. But that buyback would, would link with a trigger, unless otherwise that trigger happen, so that buyback won't happen. The trigger we are going to explain you. So we are having a call, we are having a hard call in which of 6 years, soft call is for 4 years. What is soft call? The, va the value of a soft call is always the total tenure, total period minus hard call period. Total period is 10 years, hard call period is 6 years, the total soft call is 4 years. The total soft call is 4 years, right? This is the total soft call. Suppose the strike price which they decide is the 10 shares. The nominal value of the bond is 1000. The total equity share is 120. So 10 shares into 120 is 1200. The value of a bond is 1200. Which effectively means that $200, $200 of the premium which he is getting. Now, there could be multiple triggers which ExxonMobil can have on the bond. One of the trigger which, which, which is on the interest rate and another trigger which they could have in which they are going to say if the value, if the value of, 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 of equity would be 130% at the time of an inception, which means 130% into 120. If the value is that, then we will go for call option. 99% people, those who are watching this video, they tend to think that call option are always exercised if the interest rate is very low or if the interest rate have reduced from 3.5% to 1%, probably 2%, probably 1.5%. There is a misconception which we have in the market that the call option can only be executed if the interest rate is low because here the company will make some money. I of course appreciate that point. Because if ExxonMobil is raising at 3.5% and if the interest rate would reduce to 2%, they would be making the money. But at the same time, we need to agree that the ExxonMobil will also need to see the premium which they are selling. Example, if the share price is seriously increased to 130% of 120, right, which would be, uh, which would be roughly uh, 36, which would be roughly 156. If the share price would increase to 156, then ExxonMobil will exercise that. Because why ExxonMobil will give so much capital appreciation to an investor? It meant that a thousand dollar bond would valued at 1560. A thousand dollar bond would valued at 1560. So this misconception is not completely wrong that it, it is totally the call option is only dependent upon the, the trigger of on interest rate. Yes, this is to an extent right. But it is also linked with linked with the share price as well. Here we are talking about the share price. But the game is little different. The game is that the entire feature which we have discussed when they want this, this, this and this. This is still 5 billion dollar. So we are going to issue a bond. The value is 5 billion dollar and the convertible is only applicable in 5 billion dollar. But what about the rest $5 billion which ExxonMobil would like to raise? Here ExxonMobil will go for a private placement kind of thing. But in this private placement, they will create something which is known as dividend swaps. What they are going to do, which I already mentioned here, which is convertible dividend swaps. What they are going to do, in this they are going to, since I already mentioned that they are going for a private, they are going for a private placement. We already have so many videos. In fact, one of the business domains of the company is the private placement as well. In this what exactly it would happen, you know, that uh, that they are going to invite few people, not everybody. Example, JP Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, Citibank, iBanking Desk and PPP Desk. They might invest a managed futures also, but they don't because managed futures are always not in a position to invest a big chunk of money. So they are going to invest a limited amount of people, which is JP Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, 
city bank i banking and ppp desk what they are going to do they have a equity pool of 10 billion dollars and that equity pool is of american technology te american technological companies so i have mentioned that us technological securities they have a equity pools of 10 billion dollar this comprises of us technological security now what they are going to do on the exxon mobil if exxon mobil would be raising a bond in this bond they are going to pay a fixed coupon for 6 years at least by the time the hard call period is there these private placements are secured after this if the trigger would come they would the, they would go for a call option if the trigger won't come they go they, they don't go for a call option but they are saying that the income which is coming from exxon mobil side is a fixed income at least till hard call period is concerned so that income will transfer to these private placement people where we mentioned that pay fixed pay fixed which is in dollar terms for bonds at the rate hard call period they in return is going to give the income which is floating income because which is income which they are making from dividend now this is little subjective in the sense that this pool would cover capital appreciation or depreciation as well that is little subjective in this we could have three versions one version they are offering only dividend income one version they are opening offering capital depreciation one version they are offering capital they are charging capital depreciation also so that is little subjective and fourth version they are doing both capital appreciation as well as depreciation but here in our example we are assuming that in this equity pool they are only considering dividend appreciation and depreciation is a problem of these private placement people it is in their pocket so if the appreciation would come it is coming in their pocket if the if the depreciation would come that is that would come in their pocket they would be transfer the floating income equivalent to the 5 billion which which the pool which they need to agree with the exxon mobil so it would be kind of float to fix swap so they are going to pay fix and they are going to receive the float now this will serve two purpose purpose number 1 you want to raise 10 billion dollar 5 billion dollar you you raised via a traditional bond which is convertible you issued a bond you kept the hard call period as 6 years after 6 years the next 4 years if the trigger would happen you will take up if the trigger won't happen you you you, you won't take up in an alternate case the another 5 billion dollar which you wanted to raise you have created the float to fix up but you did you have paid you continue to pay to these people but they will again pay you but that is a separate call that uh, very very subjective whether it is a dividend thing it is a capital appreciation or it is a capital depreciation or it could be both this is the video which we wanted to discuss with you wherein we discussed about convertibles dividend convertibles or convertible dividend swaps believe me that convertibles are a very big market across the globe it's a highly unfortunate fact that there are many economies in this world including india where convertibles are highly limited in nature and if we go after if we see from 2008 then the foreign currency convertible bonds has almost died in the indian market but if you go to europe the convertibles are very big in nature us it is one of the largest market of convertibles and such kind of structures which is convertible dividend swaps they are very very common very very common for uh, for europe and the us market in this video we have talked about convertible swaps the next video we would be talking about quanto convertible swaps in which we are not going to cover the complete example rather we would be covering we will we will directly come to the we will directly come to the quanto convertible swaps in case you have any doubt my mobile number is known to most of the people 9899242978 my skype id is rahul5327 my email is rahul.magan@treasuryconsulting.in my website is www.treasuryconsulting.in we are extremely pleased to share that hopefully by end of november our fixed income platform would be in the market and uh, the earlier deadline of june 2018 want uh, we don't need to wait till, till that so by november 2017 our fixed income platform would be in the market this platform we are covering lot of things we are covering lot of regulatory like mir mifid mifir crr crd we are also covering fema as well which is foreign exchange management act sooner or later probably by august you would see a lot of videos from our side on mifid as well 
in case you wanted to contact us, you are most welcome. And thank you very much for your time. We would surely be coming a lot of videos over a, over a period of time. Thank you very much and have a wonderful time ahead.